Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to get Installer 4 on iPhone OS version 2 for iPhone and iPod Touch. So what you're going to want to do first is be jailbroken, obviously. And next you open up your settings application. Tap on Wi-Fi. And then tap on the blue little arrow thing on your network and write down your IP address because this is important for transfer okay so you've written that down now go into Cydia and go on the sections tab and scroll down to networking that box comes up, ignore it. So go on networking and then go go on open SSH and tap on install and confirm it and it'll install. Now whenever you install something on your iPhone or iPod touch you should always wait for the spinning pinwheel at the top of Cydia to go away. Now you can press your home button and you'll have another spinning wheel, pinwheel at the top of, this, of the home screen or springboard, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so we'll just wait for that one to go away and we can get on with the rest of the video. Now this part is for the Mac but the next one will be for Windows XP and Vista as well. So what you're going to want to download first is the installer for zip file I have kindly uploaded to Mediafire. Now I'm going to download this to a folder called Tutorial on my desktop, but you can save it wherever you want. Clear that and exit out of Safari. Now if you don't have Cyberduck already, I suggest you get it. It's, an, it's a wonderful FTP client and does what it says on the tin. So this one goes to de uh, Tutorial as well. And while that downloads, I'll pause the video. Okay, so it's finished downloading, and now we undisk image it, if that's the word for it. And we drag the rubber duck thingy into applications. Okay, that's mm, that's over. So now we eject, and we can drag that to the trash. Now unzip the installer plus four zip file, I don't know why it's got a plus in it, but there you go, and you can trash that as well. Okay, so I'll close Safari there, and we go to Applications and CyberDuck. Now just leave that open and go over to Spotlight in the top right corner of your screen and type in Terminal and click on the top hit. Now in here type in SSH space root and then the email app symbol and then your iPod's IP address. Then the password is Alpine, so A-L-P-I-N-E no capitals and press enter. Now if you're doing this for the first time it'll ask to generate some cryptographic keys that's fine just type yes and hit enter but I'm not so I won't get asked. So now we go back to CyberDuck and click on open connection. The protocol is SFTP and server is our iPod's IP address. And the username is root and the password is again alpine so click connect and we can see all our iPod or iPhones files click on the slash in the box and go over to double click applications now uh, 
open that folder where you unzipped install for and drag that over to Cyberduck and make sure that the whole list is uh, selected with a black border and it uploads to the applications folder and we're done so it's safe to quit Cyberduck uh, later So now go back to your terminal window and uh, type in these commands. So ch mod space dash capital R space seven 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 space start quotes forward slash capital A P P L I C a T I O N S that's applications forward slash installer dot app and now end the quotes and press enter. Second command ch mod space a then the plus srx space start quotes forward slash applications forward slash installer dot app forward slash installer and end the quotes and press enter okay so that's everything to do with the computer done and so I'll show you what you have to do on your iPhone or iPod touch okay so just reboot it as you would normally by pressing and holding the sleep wake button until it slides down. So slide the power off and wait five seconds. And turn it back on. So when it powers up, if that comes up, just dismiss it, and you might not see it on the first page, but if you scroll over, you can see it right there. Okay, so just tap on that, and it's a lot different from the other installer, the old one. It's a beta though, so some things aren't there yet, but they will be. Okay, so that was my video on how to get Install 4 on your iPhone or iPod Touch. I hope you liked it. Please rate the video, comment in the video, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.